And tonight we have horrifying new details about what happened to Vanessa Guillen, the soldier from Houston who disappeared from Fort Hood. These are the two people the Army says are responsible. Army specialist Aaron David Robinson is accused of killing Guillen and his girlfriend Cicely Aguilar is accused of helping him get rid of the body. And tonight we have Aguilar's confession about exactly what happened the night Guillen disappeared. And we want to warn you, the details are disturbing. Here's Grace White. Shame on them for not coming to to press conference and saying, mea culpa, we apologize, we screwed up. What happened to Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen at Fort Hood is no longer in doubt. What her family and their attorney, Natalie Kawam, still want to know is why. What was the motive? Why do you believe Vanessa was killed? He told his girlfriend that she was going to report him for having an affair with a married person. He is Army Specialist Aaron Robinson, who was dating a former soldier's wife. Her name is Cicely Aguilar, and she's now in custody. In a five-page affidavit, Aguilar confesses to helping him get rid of Guillen's body, telling investigators Guillen never made it off the Army base alive. You can't tell me that someone's bludgeoned to death in the armory room, and then all of a sudden, nobody heard her screaming, nobody saw the blood all over the room. According to the affidavit, Robinson beat Guillen to death with a hammer, put her in a storage case, went home, and came back to base that night to move the body. The girlfriend says he took her out to a bridge near the Leon River, where the couple cut her up, set her on fire, and buried her in three separate places. From the beginning, Guillen's family has claimed she was sexually harassed. There is no credible information or reports that Specialist Robinson sexually harassed Specialist Guillen. But according to the attorney, Guillen's family isn't buying it. You were the same people that told us sexual harassment is not criminal. And guess what? You have a dead person. Robinson took his own life when police tried to confront him. His girlfriend is now charged with tampering with evidence and could face up to 20 years in a federal prison. Mia, back to you. Grace, thank you. There is still more to come in this investigation. We'll bring you any new developments. You can see a timeline of the case and the family's call for.